Hello. In uh, episode 12, I sh showed you that was uh, just as I was arriving in uh, these Azores, uh, I had uh, the engine went out on me, and it was because of a uh, clogged fuel line um, with this bacteria or some. Maybe it wasn't bacteria. It may have been just dirt that was in the uh, in the fuel tank that got all shook up during the storm. So, in order to get home from uh, these ores. This is my fuel tank. It's a plastic tank. There is no drain on it that, it's a, that can act. In fact, there's no even, not even any access. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've taken out the fuel. That's the fuel sender there. And I'll show you what I've uh, built here. So to get home from the uh, Azores, what I did is I just kept the fuel tank filled all the time so that that minimized the amount of shaking up of sediment or bacteria that was in the bottom. So that's I kept the tank filled all the time. I got home, and when I got home, I put in, I, I bought some of the, there's lots of different brands, and I don't know which one is better than another, but I bought a, um, a, a bacteria-killing chemical called, it was Acti Oil 500 or 550 is what I bought. And I put that in, this treatment in, and that's supposed to not only kill the bacteria, but it was, it's, they claim that it's supposed to dissolve it as well so that then it burns out um, through the fuel. But I really wanted to clean my fuel tank, but I couldn't find a service in, uh, in, uh, in France, or in the, at least in the area that I live in La Rochelle, where they do what's called fuel polishing. I couldn't find one. So I decided to build one myself, and I'll just show you what that looks like. And there's no, uh, no great intellectual um, activity here. I actually actually copied exactly one, or very very closely to one. Um, I copied one that I saw on the internet, um, and uh, this is what it this is what it looks like. Um, well, let me start start at the beginning. When I showed, first showed this to my wife, she said, "Oh, it looks like an Italian espresso maker. That's pretty cool. I hope something good comes out." I have a copper pipe that I just, I, I can move around and I stick it down into the bottom of the fuel tank and I'm going to move it all around to try to suck up as much uh, dirt as I, as I possibly can. And then that pipe, in order to get the system going, I actually had a primer uh, pump that I put in and that actually worked very well. I didn't have to, I didn't turn the engine on and I didn't put fuel into the uh, Raycor filter either. And then I just have a strainer here to catch the really heavy stuff. Then it goes into, into a Raycor filter. This is the uh, Raycor 500 FG filter. Filter. They're quite expensive, by the way. So it both it has a filter, and, and to start with, I'm using a 30 micron filter, and I'll run it for a couple of hours with that, and then after that, I'll put in a 10 micron filter and run it with that. And then it has a centrifugal system in here that's supposed to separate any water. That comes out there. Then it goes through a pump. I originally ordered a pump, uh, just a Volkswagen diesel pump, but they sent me the wrong one, so I just went down to the chandlery and paid 50% more and um, bought that one um, instead. And so this pump here has a capacity of 250 liters per hour. Um, the filter has a capacity of 200, maximum capacity they say, of 227 liters. So I was a little concerned. But I figure there's enough inefficiency in the line and all that that uh, hopefully I won't uh, won't overpower the filter um, by doing this. And then this just hooks up to my 12 volt 12 volt battery, and uh, um, that's what I'm that's what I'm running with. Um, so let me show you how it how it works. It's a bit noisy. I see it pumping through here. I'm just going to move the, the pipe around the bottom and suck up as much as I can and then just let it sit there. And you can see the, the throughput here, hopefully. You can see that's going through at a pretty good speed there. The, my tank's capacity is 210 liters. Uh, so 210 liters and I've got a, pumps that are working at over 200 liters. So Theoretically, in an hour, it should be uh, what they call polished. So I'll run it for a couple of hours, and then put in uh, 
change the filter to a 10, 10 micron filter and let it run for a couple hours more. And at the end of all that, I'll film for you. Did any water show up? Did any contamination show up in the, in the strainer or in the filter? I'll show it to you. I'll film it. And um, we'll see how this all turns out. So, to be continued. So now I've stopped it. I've been running for two and a half hours. I've stopped it and I'm going to put a 10 mic uh, micron filter in. I've been running on a 30 micron filter. So the 10 goes in. Let me get that in a second. It's not too dirty, but you can you can see there is some some degree of dirt that went in there. And then the, the pre-filter strainer that I'm going to change now as well. You can see there's a level of gunk and dirt and stuff in there as well. But I have to say it's less than I thought. You know, I was expecting I was expecting something quite evil looking, um, and that's actually pretty good. And the bowl, you can see there's no water in there. Um, it's just uh, just diesel. So. That's good news. And I've moved the uh, pickup rod all over the bottom as far as I can, and certainly into the lowest spots. So that's going well as well. So now I'll run it for another couple of hours with a 10 micron filter, and uh, then that will be it for this season. Uh, that's my own homemade uh, fuel polishing for the season. Well, I have just turned off the pump. It has been running now for just short of five hours and uh, I put the tank through a 30 uh, micron filter uh, several times and now through a 10 micron filter and the thing that surprises me when I look at this is that there's no water here um, and I know the probe is going down to the bottom of the deepest part of the, of the fuel tank so uh, I don't know how to explain that. I was expecting some water, um, not to see any. Is that a realistic uh, outcome? I don't know. Maybe some of you viewers have, uh, have done this before, and uh, I'm just astonished there that this is clean. There's no water in there. There was some. So, um, so the tank has been cycled through there at least five times. My tank is, my, uh, the fuel, the, all the fuel that's in my tank has gone through a filter now. So um, it's polished. And a quick look at the, that's the 10 micron filter after two hours. Um, you can see the, the little st st dirt down in the bottom that came out as well. Um, so yeah, there was crud in the fuel tank. Not that very much though, frankly. I, I'm surprised that it's not worse, much worse than that actually. So, um, so. It's done. Um, I guess I should have more confidence now that uh, I'm not going to have another problem with uh, uh, contaminated or blocked fuel lines, at least for a while.